exploration this evening, going in an unknown direction, and let's see whether we can see whether we can take any difficulty problem offered and raise the level of it, as they call it, anagogically on its highest level. And so we try it. All right. Um, I have lost my keys. I have lost my keys. Mm -hmm. Ah. I don't know where to find them. Simple. All right. Yeah. Simple. Yeah, it would it would seem simple. Um, the problem is is that um, the mm -hmm. I have an irrational reaction to <clears throat> to losing the keys. The keys. Um, my my first reaction was that I had perhaps left them in the outside door where somebody could have seen them and taken them. And that's usually where my mind goes. I always, I always try to come up with the worst possible scenario and then work back from there. Um, and then I remembered that the door had been unlocked when I came in the house, so I knew that I had not used the keys, uh, so they have to be in the house where I can find them and still the fact that I've lost them in the first place um, causes me a lot of, um, it makes me feel like a bad person. And that I'm bad, and that I'm out of control of my life, and that when I when I start feeling this way, or I start feeling out of control, that's when I start losing things, and um, forgetting things, and you know, just not able to keep track of my stuff. And it, I haven't had that in a long time. I mean, that was a regular pattern for me, always. And uh, I'd say for the last year or so, year, yeah, year, two years, I haven't, I haven't um, had much, I haven't lost anything, and I haven't felt this lack of connection. And so when it happened tonight, just, it's 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 rearing its ugly head again. Uh, I think brought on a lot of um, just um, you know. Oh God, you know I've slipped back. I'm back into this um, insanity. Splendid. I'm surprised I was able to articulate that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's interesting that you go to the worst case and then you work back. Mm -hmm. And so as you did this, I presume you found your keys. Still, still lost at this point? Still lost at this point. Okay. And that was having to leave the house without knowing where they were yet was very difficult for me. And, and it caused the drive over here to be you know, tense and, and you know, fighting against traffic instead of just going with the flow and getting upset at people.
Yeah. It's a very interesting judgment, isn't it? Uh, yes. To have lost the keys means you're a bad person and out of control. Uh, means you're not keeping track of yourself. When you reach that state and say that, those kinds of words, what kind of state of mind would you describe that as? Uh, what kind of anger? Self, self anger. Uh, what, what kind? Like, what could you do in that state? Put yourself in such a state that you put might put yourself in at least in a mm -hmm. condition where, where you're not as secure with yourself as in driving. Mm -hmm. right. I'd like to use um, four ideas. Right. Four. First is there is some act. In this case, lost my keys. That's an act. Something happened then notice what we do. Right? It's like, I want to use three expressions. We then um, tell ourselves, but we tell ourselves with such vividness that it impresses itself upon us. Right? It, very impressive. Therefore, we can say, when we tell ourselves someone may have taken them, worst case, right? now I'm moving here. To have lost them means I'm a bad person out of control. We tell ourselves, right, I'll change it, right? We judge ourselves. We pass judgment upon ourselves. as if we're writing in our own soul. Right? We're like, that's why I called the book. Right? It's like in our own souls we're writing this. But it, it has a certain image too. Like what kind of bad person? I bet you could draw that. What kind of a person? Come on. So now this is the painter. All right, this is the painter. That's now going to paint the image of ourselves. Okay, what kind of image? It means I'm trapped, lost them, I'm a bad person, I'm out of control. What kind of a person? Give me a picture. Caricature, okay, uh, make that up. Caricature would be Hair everywhere. Good. I'm, I, it's so easy for me to draw that. <laughs> right. Mouth wide open. Yes. Yeah. Big eyes. Big what? Eyes. Ah. More. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hmm. Um, uh, 
Uh, juvenile. Uh, juvenile. Kid. Yeah. Right? Juvenile. Mm -hmm. How old? Eight or nine. Hmm? Eight or nine. Now, would you not agree, while we write this in our souls and we create that picture of ourselves, mm -hmm. it's also accompanies a song, music, right? There's a, there's a, which I want to call the, the kind of the atmosphere, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. right? Now, that, I'm going to call that the musician in us, right? We then score it, right? There we go, we score it, <whistles> right? Right. What piece of music could go along with it? Oh, God. Uh, Stravinsky. <laughs> yeah, Stravinsky. Right, right, right. Lights of spring. Something. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> right. Now look here. This is what we do. You see? This is what we do in our own soul, as it were. Right? This is what we do. Mind or soul. I prefer it word soul, of course, because mind can be used in other ways, but just for convention we'll call it mind. And now, what's interesting is that this comes in with such intensity that it has a duration, doesn't it? And therefore, it has a time. has a time to it. It seems to have particular acts to it that unfolds. We have a certain drama that can play itself out consistent with this. And what we really want to know is, where did we get the drama? Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Oh, we do it against ourselves. We create our own suffering. Oh, what are we doing? Where does it come from? Now, Can you tell us, therefore, a little more about what happened after you call yourself a bad person? And you're not keeping track of yourself. What happened then? Um, I tried to um, get back into a, a more proper frame of mind and tell myself, don't be, don't be irrational, don't be insane. Even at the worst case, even if you really lost your keys and you never find them, they're all replaceable. It's, it's, it's silly to beat yourself up over, over this. It's a fixable problem at its very worst. You then argue against the drama. Mm -hmm. right. So. Here we have what we need. We add time and the various stages of it. And then we argue against the drama. But the drama or, always comes back. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. So then, within us, therefore, is a dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Or, we might call it by a better name, argument. And now you're see. What does the dialogue do? Challenges that. Mm -hmm. It challenges it. You give yourself advice. All right, come on, come on, let's do it. Come on. Advice. It, 
it tries to, to calm down. It calms. Calm down. Calm down. Um, because I think if I calm down, maybe I'll be able to find my keys. <laughs> You know, to help, help with the solution. Okay. I mean, I the, the, the part of me that argues against the drama is, is aware that that the reaction is is irrational and um, I think that it's scared this this scares me this this drama thing. It it's, it scares me. Scares me to think that That this it's it's like a tempest. It's just in there, and it. Uh, it still has such control. You know. Mm hmm. Good. It's good. It's good. It's a great, it's a, it's a occasion for great intensity, isn't it? This is, plays itself out very intensely. And, um, and it is also a solution. You also have a solution to it. You're in the problem, you also have a solution, don't you? You have a strategy. Yeah, yeah. If I can only calm down, then I'll be able to find it. I have a solution too. Yeah. But it has to start, it has to start with an act. It has to start with some action, which in this case is lost to my keys. But, yes, mm -hmm. the action starts it, but there seems to also be that um, the losing of my keys and the drama it sets off is part of that, is that losing my keys is, is um, emblematic of something bigger that has, has come to be and is working in the background and that by the time I've lost the, the keys is just it's just an eruption from that and this sounds good. so irrational good. put that in words <laughs> it's, it's just um, it's like oh god how big is this thing how, how I don't know it I don't I don't know how big and how strong this thing has gotten this time. Uh, you know, there's, there have been signs of tension over the last week or so, and um, the, the keys, uh, 
I guess the keys are significant to me because it's just been so long since I've I've lost my keys and or played out this drama. Or played out this drama. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Kind of connects you with the past that you thought was over. And the power of it. In terms of the your own past, that is beyond two years, how would you rank this episode as compared with the others that you've had of a similar nature? one I think is significant to me because it it comes in light of um, some uh, self-awareness that wasn't there um, previously, previously. Yeah. right um, there's there's a humbling Factor to it, which I don't know, is part of the "you're a bad person" drama. Uh, yeah, it's like you're you're never going to escape me. This is who you are. It's it's like it's my. God, I'm not going to say that. Got it. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. It's my legacy. My legacy. It is. See, as you reflect more, mm -hmm. you're turning the page. Look here. See? You're turning the page. Therefore, you're going to create another picture with its own sound and with its own play. See, this is a drama. You could literally put it on the stage with music. You could assign people roles. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to ask about it? Um, you're going to ask me hmm. if I've ever had this Tell me about, tell you about one of my previous? Oh. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Well, no, what were you going to ask? Me? I like that. <laughs> I don't. What, 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 what uh, age am I going to go for? Eight or nine. By heaven, is right you are. <laughs> right, why eight or nine? Well, because? We listened, she gave it to us. All right, just go ahead. Oh, God, I don't want to go back there. New color. There I was. It was one of the most embarrassing things that ever happened to me. I was um, eight or nine. And um, my father was in the military, so we moved around. I went to a lot of schools. I guess I was in the third grade. This was a school I hadn't been to very long. And I was only going to be there for about six months anyway. Um, my parents, because we were only going to be there for a short time, we were living in an apartment. And I would walk to school. This was in Sunnyvale. California. We walked to school and um, my mother showed up one day at school and said that she wasn't going to be home when I got there, so she came to give me the key to the house. This is really where the humor part comes in. Go ahead. <laughs> Great. Go ahead. Oh, God. And she gives so anyway, you, so she gives me the 
key to the house and she says, don't lose it. Uh, give me her state of mind. Oh, I don't even know. I was pretty distracted. Okay, don't I was lose distracted. It. I was always distracted when I was a kid. But anyway, she said, don't lose it. Put it in a safe place. And um, this was right before lunch, or at lunch, I can't remember, but it was around lunchtime. Um, and uh, so I had my lunch, and as I was, uh, let's see, so I, I had my lunch, and we had to go through the, the, the line where you threw your tray away and threw all the dishes away. And after I left the cafeteria or the eating area, I reached down to check in my pocket where I put the key, but it was gone. And I went into a full-on panic, which is what I always do. I just went into this big panic, and I couldn't find it, so I was convinced. <laughs> I was convinced that I'd thrown it away with the, the food. So I went back to the cafeteria, and there was the, a nice lady who was the monitor, um, and I said, I've lost the key to the house, and my mother, it's the only key, and she told me not to lose it, and I've lost it. And I think I threw it away. And this woman was like, without even any hesitation, just dives into the garbage and starts pulling all these trays out, and she's looking for my key, and I mean, with just total abandon, not even, you know, I mean, she was just on a mission. And so while she's going through her garbage, the garbage, I'm kind of looking around for the key. And um, I'm looking at the tables and chairs. And I realized that the outfit that I have on has got a tunic with two pockets. And I've got little pants that go with them with these two other patch pockets that are under the tunic. And I reach into the pants pocket, and there's the key. And I had only been looking into the tunic pocket. So I had to go back and tell that woman, who's now elbow deep in trash and food garbage, that I had the key all along. And she, and she laughed. I mean, she took it really well. But I was, I was mortified that I had gone into a full panic, assumed the worst, and people had acted upon mm -hmm. my worst assumption. And it was just me being stupid. Yeah. Just repeat that last two sentences, or last sentence. It was just me being You were stupid. astonished that someone would, that. That, um, that she. Someone would, would take what I said. She, she would take what? I told her to, to, be, to be real, to be what was, what was true. Without what? Without any hesitation, without even, you know, questioning it. Yeah. And I didn't tell anybody about that for a real long time. I didn't oh. tell my mother oh. I was, um, I was, I, I mean, at eight or nine, I had sworn myself to the grave on this one. That, that was, I wasn't going to tell anybody. I, and so when I lose my keys now, in the fury of the whole drama that's played out in my head, that's what I see. You know, I okay. go back to that. And there's a couple of others. There's another one, but okay. that's it. That's okay. the one. Okay. All right. Now you're able to plug into this memory. All right. Next up, without which you're not out. Why do we have to reflect? Come on. Why do we have to reflect on this? Because you have to discover You have to discover something important, and that is that you're applying something you learned, and that's why you have the problem. Okay? What are you doing? 
You're applying something you learned and now you see the impact of it outside of the house. That's why these scenes are so important. All right, what is it? There's something that went on, okay? There's something went on in the house. Here it is. Or earlier, most often in the house. You're applying it here. If this didn't go on, you wouldn't have walked away with the problem. Okay, let's, you say it. Let's see how you would say it. If it weren't for, try it again. If it, if it weren't for something that I had learned earlier in, in my home, this particular incident with the lady in the garbage, um, it wouldn't have had the impact right. okay. that, it, that it did. That's right. Now we, got to, we have to prove that. Okay. You and I, we have to prove that. Okay. Only from the data. Right, you stay with the logos. You stay with the words. Right. Okay. Say, so in terms of this story, eight-year-old story with that woman, was that a victory or a defeat? Was that a failure or a success? It was a failure. Success. How so? How did the woman take it? Oh, she laughed. She laughed hard. She thought it was hysterical. Yeah. And you found the keys. And I found the keys. And you found the keys. Yeah. And she had a laugh at herself. Yeah. Yeah. And what is it you concluded that caused such a turmoil, turmoil in your soul? that someone would take what I told, or what I said, to be real without, without, any, question. without any questions. Ah, that's an interesting statement, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, wait a minute. How did you then take the blame? You took the blame for this, didn't you? Well, if, if, if it weren't for me, she wouldn't have had a girl. Well, well, is she upset? <laughs> no. No, because she's a good person. And she has a good sense of humor. And she realized that she goofed, didn't she? She was, yeah, I should have asked a question. She laughed, wasn't she? She was having a good laugh. Ha <laughs> it was in your pocket all along. Well, yeah, but... It, the onus would be on me to have, she probably assumed that I would have checked my pockets before I told her that they're gone, I threw them away. No doubt about it. Therefore, whose problem was it? Thank you. Whose problem was it then? It was my problem. Pardon me. Whose problem was it from what you just concluded? I'm sorry, I'll have to do it again because we'll I do it again. up with me. Well. Um, what, she, what did you say she should have done? She, she, well, she naturally assumed. I uh, mean, thank you. What? She naturally assumed. Uh, did you have a reflection that you told us about right here? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> she took what I told her. Why else would I tell her that if it weren't? Real. I certainly agree with you in part. In terms of your own awareness, what does that statement mean? I was astonished, I was surprised that someone would take what I told them to be real without... Without question. Look, is this seeing something? What would you call this? Is that an insight? See? Yes. You're looking at her, right? And you're saying, oh my gosh. How was your seeing at that moment? Wow, how did that happen? 
happen? <laughs> how did what happen? How did what happen? How did, how did that come out of there? <laughs> that, that statement. I didn't make it up. No, I know. That's pretty amazing. At this point then, who's responsible? I didn't hear you. Well, Uh, go ahead. What happened? By the way, do you think she may have learned from this? Yes. <clears throat> to do what? When an eight-year-old tells you that they threw their keys away to make sure that they're not in their pockets. Or 18. Mm. So therefore, what kind of a judgment is this you're making at eight years old? Whose problem is it? But doesn't that... Um, you do say, do you not, that she would have learned from this and it wouldn't happen again? I hope so, yes. Yeah, I would too. I would too. If not, what would we say about her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, okay, I have a question then. Um, would my, would my, um, oh, I don't even know how to phrase it. Um, would my perception of that woman cause me To act out in a way where I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be caught in that position. I mean, to be distrustful or, or skeptical or um, not take things told to me. Um, oh. I mean, I just this. Well, you wouldn't want all those qualities. <sighs> Why not curiosity? I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost here. No, no, that wouldn't be curiosity, would it? What? Um, you wouldn't want to be like what? Do it again. I'm saying I'm that si I'm um, s with having seen what this woman did. Yes. At the, I think that mm -hmm. I would not, I would make sure that I, w I didn't get caught. You know, in, in my mind, she, she got caught. She got, um, no, she, she got, got stung by me, um, mm -hmm. by my stupidity and my lack of um, control. Oh, all those things, huh? lack of control, yeah, okay. And I think that, that uh, no. I feel like we're getting off on another... No, no, I totally agree with you. Therefore, she can't be blamed, can she? She can't share any, any part of the story in the sense no, no, that I, she's I, not responsible. I mean, she's, you can't say she's responsible for anything. No, of course she's responsible. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. What? No, you're right. What? That she's responsible for, for this part. Oh, 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 really now? For her part in it, yes. Oh, oh. Yes, I oh, see that. Oh, and she saw it too. Yes, she did, and that's why she laughed, because she, yeah. Yeah. she saw the... Success that then? Yes, yes. Oh, it's a successful story. Yes. <laughs> It's a success. It's not a failure. Now, what did you do with it? It's in that judgment, you see. Yeah. That someone would take what I yes. said to be real. Mm -hmm. I, oh my gosh! 
What does that mean? Someone would take what I said to be real. <gasps> Is that when you took the blame? Yes. Alright, you said it. Yes. That's why. Try that expression. Now look here, when I'm doing that, I'm back here. Alright? I'm going for the words. Okay. I'm going for the image. I'm going for the sound. To see if we can get another drama. Okay. Say, so, could you could you uh, say that again? What the? Yeah, there you are, eight years old. You come to this statement. Go ahead. What is it you come to? That I was at fault because she took what I told her to be real. Yeah. Yeah, you saw that, right? Gosh. Yeah. 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 And. If anybody does that, then you're responsible. Yes. Oh, interesting. Right, right, right. Where do you think you picked that idea up? Curious expression, isn't it? See, now we need naming. We have to, if we can get it, to name what this means. A simple name. What do you call someone who does that? Someone, a liar? A liar. Oh. Oh, is this, is this something about that at home? Yeah, actually what? that came up. Huh? I'm sure that came up. How? Stay with that phrase. Stay with the name. Stay with the phrase. Stay with the name. All right? You were shocked to discover, were you not? Were you not that someone would take what I told them to be real? But it, it's. I mean, when to lie is 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 so. It has such a deliberate connotation to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mine is. A, it, I don't see it so much. It's, it, this particular statement. Is not so much lying as it is. Well, yes, there's a lie element to it, but it's it's not knowing what is real, um, and acting as if I do. All right, go ahead. Um, it's it's uh, it's it's it's, a, it's a this, All that emotional picture that you brought to that woman, right? So it's acting as if I do know. Yeah, reaching. I, I reached this this rash, erroneous conclusion. I I went to the worst possible scenario and played that as real and it was like once I had once I had decided or once it came to my mind they could be in the trash I didn't even stop and explore other possibilities I went I acted on that thing mm -hmm. that particular mm -hmm. one on the worst case mm -hmm. yeah, yeah 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 that's interesting I wonder who else does that that you know My mother does it. No. Yeah. Well, really? could you just give me a little scene where that might? Yeah. 
Um, for as long as I can remember, my mother's my mother was very young when she had me, um, and um, I've been her confidant since I was probably about five or so. But she was convinced that my father was unfaithful to her. And um, was was always acting on that. Was that the uh, best or the worst case scenario? It was the worst case. Worst, right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from five on, right? She yeah. made you into this. She brought me into all of it. All of this. All of her. And you had to hear this, right? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now we go back to the expressions and see whether or not the expressions match with greater precision the mother than yourself. Is that what she does? She really, go ahead, read it. Yes. Yeah. She, she never had all the facts. And um, yet, yet, what is she doing? But she would, she would reach that conclusion and decide and act as if that was mm. the case. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's right. And created all the drama. And created all the drama along with yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. as if it really. Great. Were true. Then, well, you were surprised to discover, therefore, that what were you doing? I was caught up in her. I was caught up in her. And I went along with it, and, and of course I never questioned it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. See, there's, a, there's an absolutely great principle that every child has. They're going to convince themselves again and again and again about just one truth, and that will be they'll never be like them. I'll never do it. They did it. I'm not going to do it. And therefore, it inevitably comes as a great shock to discover that you're it and you're doing it. And you're trapped. Okay, I want to make a principle here, a strange principle. Here it comes, right? What we tolerate, what we tolerate or tolerated from those we loved Go ahead. We cannot help doing ourselves until we challenge it. Ideally, ideally, to be able to go back to them and talk to them about it. Ideally. Hey mom, I'd like to talk to you about what happened to me from five to eight. What would it be like talking to her about this? To she'll do it right in front of you. Mm -hmm. She'll blame, but she'll blame herself, and she. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, all of that time from five to eight, you tolerated her saying all of these things about your father. You already indicated that there was a lot of information that she lacked. She was only working on a few pieces of evidence. Well, you knew that you were being put
put into a certain role. Yes. And you certainly knew what that meant. That's very uncomfortable because she's driving a wedge between you and your father. Yes. Right? Did you know that? So what we tolerate, we live. Until we can challenge it, find a way to challenge it. Either with them, or uh, if not, from someone most close to them, similar most closely to them. Now, there is no problem that anyone has ever had that you can say that you understand unless you know the last piece. All right? Why did it occur when it did? Um, In the present. In the present. See? This pulled you back. See? This pulled you back. Oh my God. I realized I'll never escape. This is whom you are. This is humbling. This is my legacy. See, that's the bond. That's the bond. That's the bond she created. So there must have been something interesting going on. Where were you going? I was coming here. Oh, here. Oh. Here. What else? See, you're saying for the past week, mm -hmm. yeah. no, there I... were signs of tension. What did you notice? things that had occurred and it came as it I dealing with the reality of um, some real if not mental illness real emotional illness on that side of the family and remembering that my grandmother had been taken away by guys in white coats and given electric shock treatment and remembering all the things that were said about that side of the family and how all the women were insane and and um, and I I started thinking about my perception of myself and who I am and how I define myself and how I feel I'm perceived as a, by others, and um, you know how how people do perceive me and um, how I talk and how I think and everything I feel like has gone through a filter of that mm -hmm. insanity. That's yeah. and yeah. Um, yeah. so that's what has been yeah. Yeah. going on. That's good. That's good. <laughs> And it was very upsetting. Uh, I spent sure. a couple of days very sure. upset over sure. some of the stuff that, that came to mind. And, See, and angry. Our culture locks up what we can't understand. That's our culture. Right. Right. We want to lock up what we don't understand, whether it's criminal behavior or, or mental or emotional problems. We want to lock them up. We want to get rid of them. We want to confine them. We want to put them in jail. We want to put them in confinement. So therefore, the image that you have of someone who 
may be called emotionally unstable, crazy, insane, all of these things have terrible images that go back to the you know, 18th, 17th centuries and a terrible period. But the real question is, all it takes is a couple of talks. Doesn't it? That takes a talks. Or maybe 50. It doesn't matter because once you get into this, you recover, don't you? You recover parts of, parts of a higher self. Doesn't it? Right. What is it? This little reflection, you know, spent an hour on it. What does it do? We took a little scene, right. lost my keys. Mm -hmm. And we pulled it all apart and exposed it to the sunlight and it just... <laughs> And what it happened does. to the storm clouds? <laughs> it's, it, it does. It, it feels um, dissipated. It, it doesn't. See, what's lovely about this is that you show at eight and nine a great insight. This very, these are very fine statements to make. You saw it all. So then. Um, now, see whether we can go now and take a look at this. It looks like, therefore, as we're gaining insight into ourselves, we can expect what we call a counterattack. This is a counterattack to pull you back into it. That's right. It's always there. It's always there. Right? The signs that you're growing means you're going to then face these counterattacks. Oh, let me see if I can put it this way. All right? To have a problem means that someone, and we're very clever. People are very clever. You see, you have to design something so that there are no windows or doors. If there was any way she would allow you to escape from this relationship, you would have taken it. So all the subtle ways in which she bars all of the ways you can get out of that, you now have to face. <laughs> and see that they weren't really bars on the windows at all. You could have pushed them open. But she had it some way, you see, close up all the windows, nail all the doors and windows shut, no escape, then that's your reality. That's your legacy. See, that's your legacy. This is what you are. That's what she's trying to tell you. So one of the great signs of growing is that you're facing counterattacks. This is a counterattack to try to pull you back into it. That's, a, that's wonderful. Sir. Yeah. Is she around? Yes. Uh, nearby? No. She's um, state. Christmas uh, approachable? Mm, no. No? Okay. All right. If so, I have a great piece of advice. Just watch. <laughs> Just look. Don't change anything. Just look. Whatever happens, just look. Any questions around for this one? Did they ever put counterattacking you? <laughs> yep, there are only a finite number of them. There are only a finite number. Oh yeah, there are only a finite number. 
You can map them out. You can map them all out. Really? Yeah. Wow. If, if people would keep their talks, as I sometimes try to tell them, put them on butcher paper, you know, and put them on the wall, you know, put, put them around, or on a disk, a computer disk, put it around the wall, mm -hmm. and just sit and look at them, right, and see the unity. They all have a unity. They have a unity, they have a beauty to it, though it's difficult at first to see the beauty. But in intricacy, they all fit together. Right, they crafting, there's great skill in it, has multiple levels. So therefore, hey, there's an action, that's a challenge. So pulls us back. So, what do we want to do? We want to see what we wrote, right? What we painted, the song, right? The argument, the drama, right? Naming it, finding out why it's occurring now, pick up the keys, right? Reconstruct it. We have some fun. Now, if we missed a couple of ideas here, all right, the degree to which this is not as accurate as it should be, it will persist to that degree. Mm. So successive talks bring to it a greater degree of clarity and precision. Do you expect it? And through this, there is a different kind of growth to understanding, isn't it? Different kind of understanding. More artful. See, this is all artful. It's the arts. So, thank you very much for volunteering this evening. Good, good. 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 This story just continues. You could take it back generations and generations and generations. And generations oh, and definitely. Generations and generations and generations. As you said, hey, as that goes back to your grandmother. Yes. Really, I've worked with people who were able to bring in to talks their grandparents, who could remember their grandparents, and you could see the same thing going down through five generations, the same game. The same drama, the same terms. It brought to mind when you said last year that um, you're absolutely convinced that the reason people, it was really quite a blanket statement, but you were basically saying people get married so that they can continue this. Oh, story. yes. Pick out they someone. So they Pick out this. someone out of a vast audience that will exactly fit the game. <laughs> and leave everyone else behind is unimportant. And they'll also be able to know which ones, however, might be their most interesting challenge and avoid them. <laughs> yep, that's us. Good, okay, thank you. Thank you.